Just to understand. Are you filming me? Just a little bit of video. Filming me, admiring me. What type of dice? What type of dice does he have, cat? He's the coolest. Look at this. It's like amber. Wow. This is my favorite color, or one of them. I really like that dice. Yeah, I like hexagon. <laughs> I love how we started this game and now we have like a whole mountain of dice just like in the middle of the plate. This is my health. <laughs> this has, represents my health. Billy has Billy's like 500, cheating. Billy has 500 health now. <laughs> See, oh, we okay, use these nice. to keep track of the health. These are like, you can use them for like anything, like role playing, so but. Either everything is terribly broken or our testers are really stupid. <laughs> Yay. I'm hoping for B because testers are usually stupid. Alright, so Billy, I've I've already dealt him damage, but now I'm attacking you with this. Yeah, hold on. And yeah, I was determining. Daniel, are you like I like these peanuts? ones. Yes, very okay. much so. I like these ones because they look like brains or peppermint bark. They, or, um, <laughs> they look the same. Peppermint bark and strawberry cream cheese. Ooh. It looks like peppermint. It looks like peppermint to me. Peppermint bark's delicious. It looks like peppermint bark. I was gonna make. I have this really super easy gluten free. Cookie recipe, but it's made with peanut butter. That's the substitution. Yeah, you'll ki you'll thought, kill oh, you'll you'll kill you'll kill Daniel. Are you allergic to cashews or almonds? Basic all nuts, but walnuts and pecans. But almonds aren't a nut, so can you eat those? I cannot eat almonds. Oh, that's weird. I used to. I, it's walnuts. Used to be my peanut substitute, but. Oh, but then you developed a reaction to those two. Mm -hmm. But it used to be just peanuts. That was, I, was, I used to be ice. really simple. <laughs> So but you can do walnuts, walnuts, and what was the other one? Pecans. Pecans. Can you do pistachios? Oh, those are delicious. Walnuts are one of the best too, though, so... Walnuts Pecans are... are my favorite. Well, walnuts are good for your brain. Mm hmm And the way you know it, too, is because it's actually shaped like the cerebellum or of the brain. Like, if you look at a walnut, it actually yeah, is... Yeah, it does. That's how you know it's good for your brain. <laughs> yeah. It looks like no, they say... Works. They do say, like, certain fruits and vegetables, like... It's they true. look like they're There's good. There's an entire list of them. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember all of it, but yeah. Carrots, eyes, I mean... <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, cones, well, I guess. Well, when you cut them, they look just like um, eyes That's in the true. center. And the, I guess they look like the, the rods in the eyes or the cones. Or... I guess. I don't know. Can you eat sesame seeds? Uh, I don't recall. It's not Those something I ever eat. Those are the best. Can you eat sesame chicken? <laughs> sesame butter is so good. <laughs> is this earth or ether? I don't know those aren't mine. <laughs> These ones are mine. Do you look at this card though, Kat? Look at the bottom half of her body. She's half artifact, half human. So she's an artificer, but that's like... That's sweet. Yeah, she actually bends. Her power up top. Yeah, so what she does is she allows you to return an artifact to your hand, and then you can place any artifact out on the field. So basically, you can return a real small little creature like this, and she's basically... The flavor or the fantasy part of it is she's molding it and, and recreating like something more powerful so something disgusting yeah, yeah um, which basically yes this is a terrifying creature so she's more defense and offense then right well she she enables you to put stuff it's like so everything's it's creation basically. see like everything costs mana like these islands and everything and because this costs like six it's it's very expensive but she allows you to cheat out big powerful creatures for only one mana by by like flipping out the creatures. So that's the main like idea around the deck. How many of those do you have in the deck? Four four of them. Good. Good choice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's I like and, her little quote at the bottom. Yeah. And she looks really cool yeah. too. Mm hmm What job classes do you like on Guild Wars? Um Two. the only character I've played so far is an engineer. Do you like it? Um yeah, I think it's fun. You might be a necromancer. That would be fun too. I was considered that one. I was a necromancer in Guild Wars 1 though. I was like, let's mix it up. I was really excited at the idea of being able to be somebody steampunky. Is it still $50? I'm sure there's a sale. I'm sure there's a sale. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think I got it full price. Yeah, it's full Daniel, price. with your connections though to the video game industry, you can get a good deal, right? I mean, Hook us up. I like at who makes Guild Wars? NCSoft? No. I don't have that strong connection. <laughs> Look how milled he is. Survive long enough. I can't. I honestly can't. Mm. Yeah, so explain explain your deck to Kat. Explain like how your deck works. Because see, this is my graveyard. Look how thick it is. 
It's because his deck is designed to mill people's cards. You, and you explain lose. this to Cash. Never mill mind, I'll do it. What does mill mean? Yeah, explain, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> explain. It did, so it doesn't make as much yeah. sense not knowing how the entire game works. Usually how the game works is you're trying to just, uh, you just have 20 life, you're trying to get them to zero life. So you're mm -hmm. hurting them. But my deck uses a weird alt-win condition where if you don't if have I, any, yeah, if you go ahead. he needs to draw a card and doesn't have any cards left to draw, he loses. I automatically lose, no matter how much life or creatures I have. So, like, oh. it's not a set game. Like, there's different alternate win conditions, and you get to pick cards that you like. There's rules, but you get to build. That's why everybody's so deck like is different. it's a sneaky way to end the game. Yeah. What does mill mean, though? Make you circulate your cards? It's the original. There was originally a card called Millstone or something. Yeah, that... It's named. It's the eponymous um, card was Millstone, and it was the first card that used the mechanic of basically take cards from their deck and just discard them. Oh. Would you say I should put this on the Steel Hell Kite instead? Because it's flying, well, you, you can't block that? Pieces. Because it's flying and. It can pump and it can destroy all of my things. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your biggest threat. You can't trump block it. Those are awesome. It reminds me of Dragon Veil. You first started using that thing? Yeah, that's cool. That's the same artist that does this. I was really just a few turns away from milling him out. But when he yeah, he can him. like redirect attacks and he's like absorbing people's what attacks. What elements are those cards? These are all artifacts. Some Which of them are blue. They have like a little bit of blue in it. But he, like his is a green deck. Uh, he Daniel has like a lot of decks. I have a problem. <laughs> I, I feel like both of us have been one turn behind being able to deal with him this entire game. Yeah, if I had this sooner, it would have been great. But this is dead. I can't Wait. find the 15 others. Oh, I want to rematch, except Captain. Yeah, we can join. Right, I, yeah, I think Smash Up. Smash I think Cat awesome. would really like Smash, Smash Up. Up. Let her look at it while we're finishing this out. It's on the table back there? Yeah. yeah it's a, Basically, there's like eight factions, and you get two teams. It's, 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 it was fun. I played it once. It's really fun. It's basically like Pirate Ninja Zombie Robot is like a board game. I'm not going to play that either. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's a genre mashup of all the iconic thing, like aliens, pirates, zombies, wizards, and they're all fighting to try and conquer various territories. It's pretty straightforward when you're playing it. It's actually a lot of fun, too, because... The way it works is you always have a different team because how people choose their people or whatever. Oh, what is the anime of the night? Uh, well, we got Samurai 7. <laughs> yes. I figured out something else I can I do. Bring... Yeah. Huh? Have you seen that one yet? Yes, I've it's seen it. Billy yeah, and we've Casey seen it. Seen Except it. for the ending. Okay. The ending, yeah. So I'm playing Beast Within like to kill this thing, which lets me put this back on the battlefield. What are the others? I, I brought Ergo Proxy as well. <laughs> That one is a good one. But um, I have a, a lot of animes that probably nobody's seen, but I just I definitely brought Samurai 7 because Daniel mentioned they wanted to watch that. And I will attack you with this 5-3 so, trample. The stuff I have on my shelf, what have you guys seen before? I'll attack with Spell Skype. Or I'll, <laughs> I'll attack, I'll block with Spell I will Skype. giant growth. <laughs> okay, so you trample. Uh, third shelf down on the right. Okay. It's, it's a, yeah, it deals it. So you take four damage, it dies. Okay, four damage, it dies. All I can do. The enemies are on the third shelf. Okay. Down. Yeah. My turn. <laughs> yes. And now you definitely win. Hey, you have me. Attack! Attack! Yeah. Attack! Attack! <laughs> I haven't seen that in forever. You attack me with two things and you uh, win. Okay, I attack you with four things. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. win. Good game. Good game. Oh yeah.